Similar kind of thing to the other day. Uh, today I was checking our Campanata Superbatus and the tube was really flooded. Uh, yeah. See, it was a little bit dirty, but I cleaned the water out, but it was flooding down about two centimeters. And I think the cotton was just not plugged in enough. So they needed an emergency switch. So what I did was, my son wasn't here to film, so I just put one tube on top of the other and kind of rolled them, shook them down in, and then all of the eggs ended up being stuck to the old tube. So I had to go in with a wet Q-tip and toothpick and pull them out and put them here. So those are all of their eggs. Tedious work, but I don't see any injured ones. They should all be there and there's some workers out there. So eventually those ladies will find those eggs and then scuttle them back into the nest. Um, and they're at, uh, I haven't counted, they're probably 35 to 40 workers now, something like that. A side shot here. Tip's a little fogged because it's new. But they've got pretty good brood and pretty good eggs, mostly eggs right now. It's blue online, so they can't get out. And of course, when I'm ready to film them taking stuff back in, they don't. So. Five minutes later. They found the chip. They're grabbing their eggs and taking them back inside. So, you know, stuff happens with your ants and with your tubes and, you know, it's, it's nice to be calm, but sometimes when there's a flood or a bad fungus or something, you just got to shake them from one tube to the next and then go in with a Q-tip and a toothpick and pull out the eggs and, and this and give them the opportunity to take them back. And they will. They'll run out and get them all the time. I've never had any, anything left in the outworld that I've left there that they've found for more than like an hour. And if you, um, if you think they can't find them, take one of the pupa eggs or whatever you're returning to them and put it at the entrance of the tube because they'll they'll smell it and go get it. And once they find one not where it's supposed to be, then they go out and look for them. So then they'll go out in the outworld and find them. So if you just see the tube entrance with one or two, um, then that'll kind of stimulate them to go look for more. But you guys saw how this looked in the first arm of the video. And uh, this plate was covered with, I didn't count, but probably, I don't know, 30 eggs maybe? I see... One, two, three, four, five, ten, twelve eggs now. Yeah, there are probably thirty at least, if not forty eggs there. And they've got most of them. Sewer betas are just kind of pokey and slow. They don't run fast, so they're doing their job. They're just doing it at their own pace, and uh, and they will spend you know hours out here afterwards looking around for more, even though they're all gone. They're pretty thorough about it. So that's it. I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing.